Hi, I'm Lauren Buzio, Tasting Director at Wine Enthusiast, and we're here today at Mulderbosch Vineyards in Stellenbosch to taste three of their favorite selections. Mulderbosch Sauvignon Blancs are sourced from a wide variety of vineyards throughout the, the Western Cape. You know, South Africa is a warm to hot climate, so we need to look for sites that have some cooling influence. And the first thing that I notice when I look at the Mulderbosch is... Clear, slightly green, pale yellow color. Mm. The aromas are very bright and fresh. It displays very typical Sauvignon Blanc characteristics. But it certainly veers towards the more uh, tropical and ripe fruit spectrum. There's some lovely floral characters. I love the palette of this wine, it's just so rich. There's a nice texture to the wine and a nice weight to the mid palate. But there's a beautiful streak of minerality that really lifts it. It's really luscious. It's got a very juicy core. A little bit of pineapple acidity. And then a little deeper into the glass, I'm picking up some beautiful ripe green fig characters, which are very typical of Sauvignon Blanc. Although it definitely veers towards a more new world style, really accessible to any palate type. I'm getting some lovely citrus flavors coming through. It's almost like a grapefruit rind. It could be a little bit of Granny Smith in there. The finish on this wine is persistent and is very long. That leaves you ready to drink more quite easily. There's some very obvious food pairing. From salads to seafood. Freshly caught linefish. It's so easy and versatile, I think it would be perfect for just about anything. At Mulderbosch, we're really aiming to produce the highest possible quality Chenin Blanc that we can. I love South African Chenin Blanc. I think it's one of the most interesting and versatile grapes that winemakers have to work with. You know, it's almost like giving a, a great artist a blank canvas and saying, paint whatever you want to paint. So this really is a winemaker's dream in South Africa. The 2012 Mulderbosch Chenin is, is a blend of various vineyards from around the Cape. I get a real kick out of walking into a vineyard that's older than myself. And it has this kind of continuity from one generation to the next. From a stylistic point of view, we don't want this to be a heavily wooded wine. I would say, above all, what we're trying to achieve is, is producing a Chenin Blanc that has all of these things, richness, complexity, depth, but ultimately is fresh and imminently drinkable. It's still very vibrant. It's got a, a slight green hue on the rim. Looks quite brilliant, certainly clear, always a good sign. There's a really elegant and layered bouquet to this wine. There's some beautiful, ripe, stone fruit. I'm getting a lot of uh, apricot. A little bit of honeycomb and a little bit of sweet spice. A hint of, of barrel fermentation. But then beneath that you certainly get some floral accents. Wines that are made from these very old vineyards just seem to have a certain equilibrium. Let's have a sip. I just love the palate. It opens up, it's very fleshy. There's a really nice roundness with a nice mineral streak. It feels like um, a very fresh mountain stream. I'd say that this wine is mostly in the fresh and fruity style. And then it's got a fantastic length to it. The finish is really remarkably bright with a lot of citrus tones. So this is going to improve in bottle over the next 10 years. I could certainly see drinking through this entire bottle with a nice fresh steamed lobster. And with kind of pasta dishes. As well as even uh, pork chops. Shannon's the go-to wine in my household. Everything about this wine is about all of the tastes and all of the flavors and all of the balance that's created from where we source the grapes and where the vineyards are. You want to be able to drink as much as possible of, you know, of any rosé and for that you need low, lower alcohols. The perfect go-to wine for those warm weather months. So we harvest it a little bit earlier and we go straight to press. Treat it really like we would treat a Sauvignon Blanc in order to capture as much freshness and uh, all of those beautiful Cabernet Sauvignon aromas and of course the, the color. The color itself is quite stunning and something to behold. We're looking for delicate, lightly colored grapes in the vineyard. It's a deep salmon, almost light berry color. The aromas on the wine are, are very floral, very fruity. You get a lot of strawberry, bright cherry, red fruit flavors, a little bit of watermelon notes as well. And it's really fresh. There's really a lot of bright fruit characteristics on the palate of this wine. Tart small cherry, red cherry, red plum, uh, strawberry. Just beautifully balanced. Coming from the Cabernet Sauvignon, you get a little bit more texture than some people might be used to in a rosé. It's got lovely acidity and it's just got a nice length to it too. With a clean finish, that leaves your mouth watering and ready for more. You promise yourself you're going to just have a glass and then the next minute you know you've drunk a whole bottle. Fine foods, cheeses, fruits, this would pretty much pair with anything. Never thought I would say this, but I'm, I actually absolutely love making rosé.